I am Toby Tunkel with AV Nation here with an AV Nation special chatting about the road to Infocom 2023 in wonderful Orlando, Florida. I'm here chatting with Michelle Richardson, Senior Vice President at Avixa. How are you today? Toby, I am doing well, and thank you very much for having me. Delighted to have this time to speak with you. Ah, not a problem. Glad to have you on the show. I know that uh, you are one of the special people that keeps us all aligned at the floor, or on the show floor, and all the fun that we get to have down there is uh, definitely something I'm greatly looking forward to this year. So Infocom last year in Las Vegas was amazing. It was the, the first big show back from the, the smaller show for COVID. Um, there was a bunch of people there. Everything was really, really packed on the show floor. It was really great to see so many people, uh, friends, you know, manufacturers and competitors and, and all those folks really back in person. Lots of fun to be had. So the show this year um, is June 10th through the 16th uh, with the official floor opening on the 14th. So let's kick it off. What are you most excited for this year going into Orlando? What a great introduction. And of course, highlighting Infocom 2022 last year and the excitement, the energy, the momentum continues. And quite honestly, I'm excited about it all. Um, you know, this is something to be said about not having that had that opportunity to be together for such a long time and coming back in 21. 2022 and now 2023, it is all exciting. And there's so much that uh, we are going to have to offer at Infocom 2023, um, not just as a part of our trade show, right? Because we start, as you mentioned, on June 10th, which is the Saturday before the actual grand opening of Infocom with a very, very robust Avixa training um, where we work um, very diligently to provide CTS, CTSI, CTSD preparation, as well as the ability to be tested um, at Infocom. And that takes place, of course, the Saturday through Monday timeframe um, with the Avixa training, um, the certification process, preparatory um, process, master classes, more in-depth hands-on training for industry professionals that are looking to be certified, um, uh, maintain their certification, and just simply get more in-depth training uh, at Infocom. We pair that, of course, with a continuation of education um, through the course and uh, that parallels over our trade show dates. And then, of course, our grand opening of the trade show, which everyone in our industry looks forward to, which will take place the Wednesday, June 14th through the 16th uh, at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando. Yeah, you, you touched on the, the CTS testing. You know, I had a, a couple of friends last year that went through the testing program. They had a, spent a couple of months testing uh, or testing, actually looking through the books and, and learning and, and, and reading all the crazy material around it. But they tested and passed their CTSD at the show floor. And they, they were really, really excited about the process and how welcome they felt from the instructors and how, how great of a job you guys did to really make it a, a good experience for them. So as they were coming out of the education sessions, they were extremely excited to kind of take that next step. They were, obviously, they were excited they passed their test, but also to kind of really get out there, see the manufacturers, yeah. network with peers, yeah. and really continue that, that celebration of, of, of education as I think what we really want as, a, as an organization, as, a, as an industry as well. And I, I have one, one thing to add to that. I, I of course... Um, along with the rest of, uh, of the education, our content team, arrive early on those days because I love to see attendees and those individuals that are participating in the Avixa training arriving early and to hear the enthusiasm about what they're looking for, um, but to see them arrive in groups, right? It's almost like this cohort of, of individuals that share this common interest to get really peel back the layers and learn more about the technology. It's phenomenal. And then it's even better when, of course, they take their course um, and come with the intent to take the test and, of course, pass the exam. It's always very positive uh, to see them as the exit and the positivity of, and reinforcement that all the work that goes into this really does benefit um, people and benefits uh, people, brings people together, creates uh, individuals that have the opportunity to network and meet new individuals uh, to add to their, to their contacts list. I also hear there's some great partnerships that you guys have aligned for this year at the event. Yeah, super excited about these as well, simply because we're, we've seen over the past uh, few years that partnering with 
into other associations in our industry has afforded us the opportunity to expand uh, our already great and robust comprehensive program. So for 2023, we are partnered with the Digital Signage Federation on the Design Conference Education Program. Um, as a part of design, you can learn everything there is to learn about digital signage. Um, we also have partnered with the Bronze in regards to a digital signage certification expert. Um, we will also have the uh, digital signage certified expert, um, I'm sorry, digital content and media expert. So there's a DSCE and a DCME, got to remember all of the acronyms. Um, and then we are also partnered with the NSCA for the business skills um, session. Um, that pretty much is really uh, teaching in professionals more about the business side of uh, ProAV. And then we're also partnered with AV User Group, and we will have approximately 30 to 60 end users um, that uh, will offer our manufacturers the opportunity to do speed style pitches on the Tuesday before the opening of the trade show. Um, and it's really all about new products. So uh, manufacturers with new products will have the opportunity to present those before the trade show floor even opens. And then we are also partnered with HEPMA. As many of you know, Joe Wei of the University of Southern California um, will be taking, of course, uh, the opportunity to focus in on digital signage segment with higher education um, being the, the key focus there. And then we have, of course, just um, a sponsor, I'm sorry, a, we have the opportunity to partner with XUSC again. Um, and these are all great networking opportunities as well as education programs uh, that will be offered at Infocom 2023. Everybody, you know, when they think of Infocom, the first thing they think about is UC or your typical integration companies. Live events has always been there. And it's always been something that I think people, when they, if they've never experienced Infocom before, they're, they're kind of surprised to see that. Um, are you seeing a bigger push for lab events to come to that show and really showcase their their solutions and their products for for the integrators? Well, Toby, you know that live events. I mean, we're we're in the live event space was the one of the hardest hit um, areas during the pandemic, and so what we are finding now through the past couple of years as we rebuild um, and of course return to in person is that they are so busy. And of course, it's a, a key focal area for us at the Infocom show, both from an exhibition standpoint, highlighting many of the manufacturers that have the capability to showcase products and solutions for live events, and as well as attendees that are interested in learning more about this. Um, but it is a busy time, and we know that live events are back, um, and, and, and the schedules are booked, and so which is really nice to, to be able to see. Uh, we continue to anticipate that to be an area of growth, and it will continue to be an area of focus for us. Of course, live events in, in the corporate sector as well is very important. So you're going to see a lot of that uh, at Infocom, and I'm excited because we actually have uh, a couple of things that we are going to be announcing, probably probably within the next few weeks um, that really will demonstrate our commitment in this area where we are going to highlight um, a live events activation, of course, um, at Infocom. So super excited about that. So stay tuned. Ooh, I, I like it. That's top secret. You heard it here first. Uh, the activation piece is, is such a cool word that I think a lot of the industry folks are still grasping at what that means. And all the really cool technology that goes around it. So I'm I'm super interested to know what that is. I'm going to definitely keep my eye open on the, the social channels and the press releases to see what that's about. Um, okay, so as we get ready to go through this this wonderful Infocom in, in probably hopefully sunny Florida, although it's not very sunny where I'm at today, you know, as as we really start to get that next generation of folks that are coming into Pro AV, obviously we need more. What would a first timer expect in Orlando as they get into Infocom and, and, and potentially get into, uh, you know, the, the show floor or manufacturers? What, what would you expect them to kind of experience from that perspective? There will be a lot to, for a new first timer to be able to participate and enjoy and experience at Infocom. Um, I will say this, uh, I'll start with the Trailblazer Zone, which is a new uh, area for us in 2023. 
Um, this will com be comprised of about 10 new first time manufacturers um, that will highlight uh, products, uh, technology solutions for Pro-AV. So we're super excited about that. It's new this year and we of course will continue to expand uh, the area moving into future years. Um, we also encourage our new first time attendees um, to take a look at, of course, our website. It is very comprehensive and really lays out an experience and journey for attendees, depending on what's of, of interest. But um, I would suggest that um, taking a look at our schedule at a glance to be able to see different uh, education sessions, uh, to take a look at the different solution areas that I've mentioned here. Um, as well as different on-show floor tours, which would be a great opportunity to get acclimated and familiar with uh, solutions, as well as manufacturers, uh, and just simply to learn more about Pro-AV and the industry, if they're new to the industry, or if they're experienced, um, you'll still get a, a very rich uh, introduction to the manufacturers and the technology, new technology that's um, coming uh, into place here for AV. Um, I would also encourage uh, participants to uh, get registered for the integrated experience tours. Right now, we have two that we've announced. Um, one, of course, is Full Sales University tour um, of the eSports area, as well as their immersive live um, experience uh, stage area, and then the University of Central Florida um, as well. However, we will have additional integrated tours, and I'm super excited about that as well, because we have a pretty well-known brand that we'll be announcing here soon as well. Um, I would also encourage the new first-timer to take a look at our networking uh, events. We have a, a number of different networking events where they can connect with uh, other individuals, uh, colleagues in the industry, and it's really a great opportunity to just simply meet people. Um, this industry is so welcoming and so warm. And again, just the fact of the energy, sheer energy of people coming back together. Um, there's just this excitement that you just, um, it's unspeakable, right? It's just, and, and from such a positive perspective that people are just so helpful um, in inviting, wanting to connect, wanting to learn more, wanting to teach and share which is just wonderful to be a part of. So I encourage that first timer to get connected and stop by and, and to our show office, stop by our information desk and ask for um, assistance and help see me, see any one member of the Avixa staff. Um, typically we will all have on our badges and an Avixa pin, so we're easily identifiable and we are all just willing and able to help and to ensure that every single person that's coming to Infocom has a phenomenal experience. Yeah, you touched on something there with, with the, the networking piece. The the people in this industry, everybody you know has a story about getting into AV and how they can't ever leave. And I think it's because of the people. And I think a lot of that is shown at shows like Infocom, where you have all your friends and family and, and family, but I mean, you know, peers that you've known for 20 some years around you. And I think that really goes to show you what that next generation of folks can really see and really expect, I think, as our industry continues to grow and thrive. Um, well, I, you know, I think that kind of covers everything I wanted to cover. So where do folks go uh, to register for Infocom 2023? Well, they can go to our website, infocomshow.org. Um, and of course, if uh, there are any questions, please feel free, to, feel free to reach me at rrichardson at avixa.org. Um, or you can also connect with me on LinkedIn as well. But I do thank you very much, Toby, for this opportunity to just give a glimpse into what's to be expected at Infocom this year. We are very excited and we are looking forward to welcoming every person to Orlando this June, June 10th through the 16th. I, I'm personally very, very excited for Infocom this year. And I, I'm super thankful for you to take some time out of your busy day for us today. Um, so thank you, Rochelle. I will see you in Orlando here shortly. Um, follow along for all the Infocom fun that we have planned this year at avnation.tv. That is avnation.tv. 